Sooners go into Auburn and get a win with a true freshman. Wow, what a weekend. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am the NIL Commission. Pull up a seat. If you want to subscribe, share, like, all that kind of stuff, go ahead and do that. I appreciate it. Let's get into this. First quarter. Wow. Just like that. Get a little screenplay. And then a uh, scamper by Michael Hawkins Jr. for touchdown. And we're on the board 7 nothing. I think every fan, including me, was like, uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. And then the second and third quarter happened. Mm. This game was kind of like a tale of two halves. Unfortunately, the half that Oklahoma had was the first quarter and the fourth quarter. And the half that Auburn had was the second and the third quarter. So in that second and third quarter, Auburn kind of came alive. Uh, the first half, they had a drive of 74 yards, but Oklahoma stopped them on the one-yard line. Sooner magic. We finally got some defense back in this, in this land. The total yards wouldn't say that, but the defense won this ball game. I think ta uh, Taylor, sorry, Michael Hawkins... Uh, Taylor Hawkins is a drummer. Michael Hawkins Jr. is a beast, and he's only going to get better from here on out. He went on the road in the SEC in a very tough environment, 88,000 fans with a cool tradition that us Sooner fans really like with the eagle flying and everything. That's really cool, by the way. Um, but uh, I said we were going to go in there and we we're going to beat you, 27-17. to 17. In the third quarter, I kind of was like, oh, I'm going to have to make a video where I eat my words. But, man, I'm happy I don't have to do that. Honestly, I'm surprised that we got to 27 points in that third quarter. I'm sure every OU fan felt just like I did. Uh, I did not think we were going to be able to move the ball very well. And then all of a sudden, a bomb to J.J. Hester, a little run into there. We, we're, we're close now. And then all, oh, Kip Lewis, what, what's happening? And then R. Mason Thomas, Sooner Magic in the fourth quarter. And wow, all of a sudden, 27-21. Now my score looks very close to what I predicted. I said that we're probably going to need a defensive turnover to get a touchdown, maybe a defensive touchdown to win this game. All my predictions fell into place in the fourth quarter. And man, that was fun. Wasn't that fun, Sooner fans? Man, that was fun. First road game in the SEC. I know some people don't think it's that big of a deal, but it's going to stay in our minds and our memories for a little bit longer than a typical win. Hawkins is a beast. He's, he's not necessarily just going to put up big numbers. He will eventually. I, I really believe that. But right now, he, he's... He's got to deal with, you know, no wide receivers in the offensive line, just just like Jackson Arnold did. But Hawkins is actually dealing with it way better. He ran over somebody to get a first down. He also did the Superman to get the touchdown. The guy's a beast. He's going to give up his body. No, slide, slide. No. You win that game, Michael. You win that game. As far as the defense goes, they played their worst game of the season. They gave up some big plays, some big chunk plays. And quite often as well. Now, they did make adjustments in the second half. They started clamping down and slowing down their offense very, very well. So they, they did make adjustments, but they gave up over 300 yards passing. I mean, it was 278 to 111 in the first half total yards. So they dominated us as far as yards. But the score, once again, it doesn't really matter. It's that W that matters. And we got it. Thanks to the defense, thanks to a big play at the end, and thanks to that Sooner magic. Let's go SEC and Boomer Sooner. Yeah. See that guy right there? That's Danny Stutzman. That's the best linebacker in America. The world. And now, a word from our sponsor. An everyday fan can turn psychotic at any time. And when they do, fans with this syndrome can be more confident about their perception of their team versus the reality with the use of Omerphenol Daily. It's an unproven high-dose tablet you take every Saturday, so you can be ready to handle reality when perception flares up. Tell your doctor about your perception condition and ask if Omerphenol is right for you. Ask if you're healthy enough to chat in the message boards. Let's get you back to reality. Don't take Homophenol if you're already sane. Don't drink alcohol in excess with Homophenol. Side effects worsen with alcohol. To avoid long-term injury, put the bottle down. Other side effects include upset stomach, diarrhea, indigestion, brain tumors, and even death. If you die, stop taking Homophenol and call your doctor right away. For a free trial offer, hit the subscribe button. So that's about it. I'll wrap it up with this. Sooner fans, our defense is very, very deep. 
I really believe that the defense is going to be great for years to come. It is definitely SEC ready. The offense needs a little help, but I think it's going to get there. Um, I'm not sure. There might need to be changes in the coaching or or just, I don't know, maybe it's the injuries because we don't have a wide receiver in the offense. I mean, we'll see. I'm just kind of waiting. But with what we've been doing and kind of how we feel about the team right now, we're still, we're still winning. We won on the road. And that's that. See you next time. Boomer Center. Let's go SEC.